very different to growing up anywhere else. <laughs> that was funny. There's always people doing things and people here, whereas when, where I used to live, you would rarely see anyone. Because there are lots of children to play with and there's lots of things to do, I think it's just really good. She has a lot more freedom than I think she would get many other places. Right from when we arrived, she was able to go out and find friends without having to arrange play dates. It's just nice to know who you're growing up next to. And just the social life and the, 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 the setting is really good for children growing up, generally. <laughs> Uh, there's fantastic outdoor space for them to play in. And we've got a climbing wall, Yay, did it. lots of woody areas very close by, and the river, of course. Uh, they, my children swim in the river. Um, Isla first went in a few months old. Oh, it's just beautiful. There's a little beach just a couple of hundred metres down the track, and she has gone down there on her own, so she gets to go and play by the river on her own. Quite a lot of freedom when my friends come over. We usually go on the swing or go in the forest and explore. You can just like walk up the street and up there's the house, the tree house thingy with the trampoline the hammocks. A handy thing is we have walkie talkies with my me and my dad, so I can go anywhere. Oh, well, the pedestrian street is really great for the children because obviously there are no cars so it's much safer for them to be able to walk down it. Also we know all our neighbours so it feels okay letting them walk down the street independently. With the children's room, the children have got their own space that they can play in which means they don't have to be in somebody's house and she could go down the street because it's a safe street and knock on doors and find someone to play with. It's much easier here I think to do a bit of shared childcare so my children might go and play around at a neighbour's house for a couple of hours on the weekend and then another weekend their children might come and play at our house and um, that sort of swapping it's, it can be really quite informal and doesn't take a lot of organisation. It's really nice having the support with bringing up the children, having other adults to chat to about it. At the weekend one of our neighbours took the children to Blackpool and another neighbour is talking about taking them to the latest Disney films. I think it's quite different from being a parent not at Forge Bank, particularly for me because being a, a lone parent I did feel quite isolated sometimes and although you, you've got people you can turn to and people will help and support you, you always kind of feel a bit obliged um, but here I think it's much more supportive. When Ella was really sick, and when you're a single parent and you're faced with sick everywhere, you know, all over the bed, all over the child, and it's late at night, and you just feel kind of on your own, you'd just like another human being to know, to be able to send a message and say, ah, help, and for someone to come and knock on the door, with a, even if it's just to bring you a bottle of disinfectant or to take your sheets away to wash, that's, you know, that's a kind of great sense, not only of practical support, but of just, other people knowing what's happening and not being completely alone with it. I think as a parent I've been able to help other parents in, in you know, just small ways sometimes. So if someone's in the common house and they, you know, they want to stay there and talk then I can take their children home if it's bedtime. Um, I can pop in for half an hour if someone needs to, to go out and do something. I can hang out with other adults um, when the children have gone to bed much more easily than I could in a regular street because people are right here. I don't have to go anywhere. This is another story which is um, it, Ella and her dad were coming back for Christmas um, and so they arrived at, a, I can't remember which station it was, but it's quite a remote railway station about an hour from here and the car battery was flat. So Chris had Ella, she'd been away for a week, she was very upset, she wanted to see me and um, he couldn't start the car and so I sent an email around saying, you know, can anyone, anyone got any ideas? And within five, ten minutes, somebody who lived in the local village to the railway station was on their way with jump leads. 
because somebody knew somebody. So just being able to put the word out to that number of people meant that, um, that we were able to kind of get support and the situation was, was resolved. It's really brilliant not having to cook the children's tea every night. So is this mixed squash? The children really like it when there's a common house meal because there are other children there to eat with. And there's usually some quite children friendly food. They'll probably be less fussy eaters as they get older because they've tried a great range of foods and healthy foods as well. The, the common house meals help build children's familiarity with the other adults as well as children. Sometimes she'll just go off and find other children and eat with them. And so it's a good experience because it, it helps her independence, it helps her find her feet and find her bearings outside the nuclear family, which I think is all, all to the good. There is a very big social element to living here, which you don't get anywhere else really. Particularly at meals, you'd be talking to lots of different people about politics or society or a whole load of things. Similarly he's interested in studying engineering and we have quite a few engineers here and I think that's given him access to different people's experiences of studying engineering as well and it's given him opportunities to do things that he wouldn't otherwise have had. It's nice to be able to mix with everyone and have a relationship with people of all different ages and not have to be segregated from them all. So he's done lots of babysitting, childcare, which I think if we'd stayed living where we were, I don't think he'd have done that. But, but we didn't have any breaks. <laughs> that would be a bit silly. You'd just go into the wall, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, but it would stop after a while. <laughs> yeah, when you hit the wall. <laughs> just the other day, one of my neighbours emailed saying, could he come and help me with some things on my computer that I don't understand? And he popped round there and he helped her. And he was ages coming back. And I said, well, was it difficult what you were doing? He said, no, 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 we were just chatting about universities. So it's, it's those conversations that he has. Again, as an opportunity which I don't think would have occurred elsewhere. Um, he does a lot of the marketing for the mill. The mill is owned by Lancaster Co-Housing and run by Green Elephant as a offices and workshops and event space and I am their marketing assistant. So he's got involved in some of the social media, he's actually organised one of the events that we've got coming up. That's given him a chance to interact with people who are in business and to think about how do you go about marketing something like this, what are the best methods to use. Polly did some art classes in the mill. One of our neighbours has joined the maker space because Polly's quite interested in art and so she's joined the maker space with the um, intention of taking Polly to do some art activities which will be brilliant. We do things together which sometimes if you lived anywhere else you wouldn't be able to do. We do felting at home but we've done felting with some of the other families and so she sort of gets to to do that with other people. She's helped out with the common house meal sometimes, so she gets to have that experience of what it's like to cook for 30 or 40 people, um, and also to make a contribution to community. Um, and, and sometimes to really enjoy getting very messy dipping fruit in chocolate. Uh, and I got them sweeping up leaves the other day. I got them into piles but then Ella and Eric came along and were, were sort of sweeping them in, and getting them into bags and so just, just that sense of having, um, being able to contribute I think is a really, a, a really key thing that often kids don't get the opportunity to do. The primary school is a very good primary school. It's certainly a school with good standards and good teachers. I used to go to a school that had 97 pupils so moving to a school with 140 is quite scary, but I've got used to it now. I'm in year six. Elsa made a cascade of sycamores. Yes, I did. Elsa's social group is not just here, it's also with other children in the village, and she's made some good friends in the village. And of course, with that, we get to meet other, we get to meet other parents in the village too. 
of course, halfway on the way to school, there's the, the centre of Horton, which is another great place. Obviously, it does have, before school and after school, clubs if you need them. It also does have a really nice playground, uh, particularly nice for the summer, and the skate park, which is almost legendary skate park. <laughs> I think he, he's quite proud about living here. And I know at school he's explained to teachers and friends about where he lives. They think it's very weird. Oh, I think she's proud of it, yeah. It makes me feel kind of happy that I'm living somewhere which isn't exactly the same old house on a street, just in a random old place. I don't think she's got any kind of embarrassment about it at all. Not yet. <laughs> when they actually listen, they think it's quite cool. And we had a party for my girlfriend in the mill a couple of weeks ago, and a few friends stayed over in the guest rooms afterwards, and they were impressed by how nice it was. Said it was like staying in a hotel for a night. I think it would be easier for me to cope with him going to university living here than if I was living where I lived before because I've got my other friends and neighbours in the community so I won't probably notice that the nest is quite as empty. I will miss him, no doubt about that, I will miss him and I think he will miss being here as well and I think he may not understand and appreciate how much he will miss that until he actually goes. It's going to be very different because I'm so used to the lifestyle here, it's going to impact how I live away from here as well. And I'm going to miss all the people and definitely the warm house. If you were considering moving here, then that would be a really good choice because it's fun and you get to know lots and lots of other people. If you didn't move here, you would regret your decision because it's a wonderful place, a beautiful setting and loads of different people who have loads of different ideas that you wouldn't be able to hear if you weren't here. So yeah, do it. It's a new experience at first and it could be a bit nerve-wracking but when you get used to it it's brilliant and lovely and lots of friendly people and just a sense of a big family. Generally it's just different from wherever else you've been living and I think you need a change.